how are we supposed to think about those extra dimensions? Are we supposed to imagine actual physical reality or is this more in the space of mathematics that allows you to sort of come up with tricks to describe the four dimensional reality that we more, more directly perceive? No one really knows the answer, of course, but if I take the most straightforward approach to string theory, you really are imagining that these dimensions are there. They're real. I mean, just as you would say that the three space dimensions around us, you know, left, right, back, forth, up, down, yeah, we they're real. They're here. We are immersed within those dimensions. These other dimensions are as real as these, with the one difference being their shape and their size differs from the shape and size of the dimensions that we have direct access to through through human experience. And one approach imagines that these extra dimensions are tightly coiled up, mm -hmm. curled up, crushed together, if you will, into a beautiful geometrical form that's all around us, but just too small for us to detect with our eyes, too small for us to detect even with the most powerful equipment that we have. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, according to the mathematics, the size and the shape of those extra dimensions leaves an imprint in the world that we do have access to. So one of the ways that we have hoped yet to achieve to make contact with experimental physics is to see a signature of those extra dimensions in places like the Large Hadron Collider in Geneva, Switzerland. Mm -hmm. And it hasn't happened yet. Doesn't mean it won't happen, but that would be a stunning moment in the history of the species if data that we acquired in these dimensions gives us kind of incontrovertible evidence that these dimensions are not the only dimensions. I mean, how mind-blowing would would that be? So with the Large Hadron Collider, it would be something in the movement of the particles or um, also the gravitational waves potentially be a, a place where you can detect signs of multiple dimensions, like with something yep. with LIGO, but much more accurate? In, in principle, all of these can yeah. work. So one of the experiments that we had high hopes for, but by high hopes, I'm actually exaggerating. One of the experiments that we imagined might, in right. the best of all circumstances, right. yield some insight. We weren't with bated breath waiting for the result. We knew it was a long shot. When you slam protons together at very high speed at the Large Hadron Collider, if there are these extra dimensions and if they have the right form, and that's a hypothesis that may not be correct, but when the protons collide, they can create debris energetic mm -hmm. debris that can in some sense leave our dimensions and insert itself into the other dimensions. Mm -hmm. And the way you'd recognize that is there'd be more energy before the collision than after the collision because the debris would have taken energy away from the place where our detectors can detect it. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's one real concrete way that you could find evidence for extra dimensions. But yeah, since extra dimensions are of space, and gravity is something that exists within, in fact, is associated with the shape of space, gravitational waves in principle can provide a kind of, you know, CAT scan of, of the extra dimensions if you had sufficient control over those processes. We don't yet, or perhaps one day we will.